Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Bruce, and my name? You don't know my name. Oh, oh no. Phil. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, yeah, hey, I'll text you later, okay? And then we go for a drink also. Yeah? All right. Women give out their phone numbers and social media out like candy, but most of the time they do not reply. A lot of guys are actually asking me, hey Phil, I get all these phone numbers from girls, but women do not text me back. So in this video, you are going to learn why women are not texting you back. And of course, I'm going to give you a little trick that you can use before you asking or after asking for her number so you can make the interaction more solid. So girls will like you, girls will text you back and they actually see, okay, this guy is not boring and he is actually a great guy. When I made the decision that I want to become great with girls and that I want to become social and confident and charismatic and when I went out to shopping streets, to bars, clubs and even worked as a club and party promoter and I approached all these girls, I got so many phone numbers. It was so frustrating that the girls would actually never text me back. I looked at my phone and I scrolled through all the phone numbers that I've been getting but none of the girls would reply or they would reply but as soon as I would ask for a date they would always kind of flake. So I was asking myself, hmm, what am I doing wrong? Why are all these girls not texting back? What am I doing wrong in my interaction? Do I say the wrong things? And back then I tried out all these routines and things to say and funny pickup lines and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what is the difference between number that is solid where the girl wants to text you and the number where the girls do not want to text you. So there's a few mistakes between a solid number and the normal number. The solid number is where the girls text you back and the normal number is she maybe texts you. Look, so if you're having a great connection with a girl and you build a great connection with a girl, then she is more likely to text you back. Or also when she feels attraction for you, then she's texting you back. Or when you show your intention, because what girls don't like is if there is some guy coming up and he kind of wants something from her, but He's hiding his intention and he's not communicating the right things about him. Because there's also a lot of guys actually that are great men, that have a great value, that are having an interesting life, but they can't really communicate how they want. So the problem is they're communicating themselves and demonstrate lower value even if they demonstrate higher value. So what you can do is that you learn to communicate the right things about you that you have like a personal elevator pitch and that you become the guy that just knows what to say and do. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of a girl and what I'm doing after exchanging the number to make the number more solid. And this is not master solution or anything, but it's one trick that you can use to make it more solid. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what's your name? And my name? You don't know my name. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so you've just seen the video and this is basically a short clip after exchanging numbers and Instagram. And what I'm basically doing, I just tell the girl, hey, okay, now you have my number or now you have my Instagram, but what's my name? Can you even remember my name? This is actually cool because it's showing the girl that you have the I am the price mentality, that you value yourself, that you are not the kind of guy that is easy and it's just kind of cool and playful and it helps the girl to actually like you. And it also sets like a qualifying frame, you know, that you don't exchange numbers with everything. And it's just a really cool tool that you can use to make the number more solid. Because if you're asking her, so hey, what's my name? And she doesn't know it, then she's in this frame, ah, okay, I'm just kind of exchanging details with everyone, you know? So it makes it fun and it makes it lighthearted. Yeah, and the cool thing is, if she doesn't know your name anymore, then you can do what I call a takeaway. So you're just like, oh no, she doesn't know 
my name anymore. Oh no, what kind of girl is that? And you kind of pretend, but also it's a lot better if it's real that you are kind of taking the attention away and that you just make the girl feel like kind of funny. You know guys, there's a lot of tips and techniques out there and a lot of strategies and everything, but in the end, you just have to become the man that is attractive. That means you create a lifestyle, you build a social circle and you develop the personality and character that you need to attract the girl. It's not a trick or a technique that is going to help you. It's what kind of person are you that is making this solid. And of course it helps a lot to approach girls and to meet girls and to go into social interactions to practice the skill and a technique can be helpful, but it's only kind of a quick fix. And then from there you basically build personality because if you say something funny, that should be your second nature or it should be your nature and not something that you learn or do, right? And if you want to become the person, the man that is attractive to women, and if you want to become the guy that gets dates with girls, that gets phone numbers, that has a social circle, and that is generally a magnetic person, then what I want you to do right now is that you apply for a free consultation call with me and my team, and we are going to call you, find out if and how we can help you get to know each other, and then my friend, apply for a free consultation call. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. She just wants to flirt, so I flirt right back. I just put in work, yeah, I work like that. Got me falling in it.